back to Bookham. Thank you so much for joining us again for the last segment in episode two. As promised earlier, we're here with our three panelists to talk once again about plot and relevance, but this time we want to ask them how this means something to their lives, maybe a personal story that could have come out of reading this book or uh, just takes you back. So personal story, we thought we've, we've let Joy start so many times and, and Tom is feeling left out and we know Tom has connections. And so we need to start off with him. And don't, yeah. I just live next to them. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so, personal story. Um, and, and Tom's book, once again, is not that good. Jane Austen. Uh, I think back to when I was in high school and making that transition to university and mm -hmm. thinking that everything I had on my plate was was good. I didn't have to study to get the good grades. I, I had the, the social life. I had the athletics going for me. Um, I didn't think moving to university and staying on campus was going to be a huge, ginormous change. Mm -hmm. Got there, started living the life that I thought university was, and, and ended up floundering. Ended up thinking, okay, this isn't matching up, and I didn't know how to get myself out of that. Mm -hmm. And everything I did ended up making my situation worse. Mm -hmm. and, and trying to find the right people to hang out with, trying to find the right way to study, trying to find that balance, um, which I thought I knew, but didn't quite work in the next mm. setting. Uh, it really hit home. So watching Catherine Moreland kind of make this transition mm -hmm. um, and not being able to understand, not being able to figure it out, I sympathize with her. I get that. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it, it's a good way to just reconnect with, yeah. with our own personal struggle with right, what, we, what we understand. Yeah. True, true that. Sam? Yes. It's my book again, The Beach. <laughs> um, so for me, the beach was a lot about, when you first think about it, it's about getting away. Mm -hmm. But what really stuck with me is it's also about coming home. Because it's the people trying to find something else and something better yeah, by getting away. But in the end, boat. they're ruining who gets off the island or whatever. But when they come home, they realize it's not that bad. And they wanted to come home and they wanted to see their family again. So for me, when I was away, my sister missed me so much, my girlfriend, <laughs> well, my that family. Was, that was surprising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so just, I just wanted to get away. I, I'm starting school soon, so I had time off, like I'm just getting away. Mm -hmm. But then once it finally was coming to an end, and I was finishing this book just as I was my trip was finishing, mm -hmm. I was like, wow, I love home. Mm -hmm. It's also about mm -hmm. coming home, and home isn't that bad. Yeah. Not that I thought it was bad, <laughs> but home is great too. Yeah. And it's yeah. nice to get away, but what you have at home, and your family, and your friends, and you know, girlfriends and everything is, it's good. is mm -hmm. what life really is. So. Hi Sam's girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. In San Diego's journey, one of the most troublesome thing is that he has this fear in him. And he said, well, the fear of failure is the only one thing that makes the dream impossible to achieve. And that really spoke to me. When I, before I signed up for Chinese medicine, you know, I have all kinds of degrees and I, I want to inspire people to live a healthy uh, body, mind and spirit. So I thought with the skill of Chinese medicine, I would do that. And, but all the, the, fear, the fear of failure really comes to me and say, oh, I'm too old, I'm too fat, I'm not fit enough, I am not able to memorize all these things. But I thought about, okay, if the fear of failure is the only obstacle, if I can overcome, then I can, I can achieve my dream. So I signed up. Yeah, that's awesome. And when I listen to all three stories, I can identify. Right there, that fear and uh, so many things that we start anew and then the fear. Sometimes you can't sleep at night just because of fear of starting that something new. And yet you know that this is where you're meant to go. And then just about coming back home, I've experienced that it's sort of the other way around with my son going to university. By the time he was in grade 12, I was thinking, out, 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 get out of that house. You need to go. You know? And then he goes, and the day we dropped him off, I could not stop bawling my eyes out. I thought, how can I be missing this guy? You know? And it was just so good the first time he came back home, and everyone was just so happy to, to see him. And he has mentioned also that feeling of coming back home. And then for you, you know, going to university and, you know, I've experienced that traveling from country to country. So it's great. And I hope that uh, our viewers will find something in what each of you have said, how this relevance causes us to go even deeper into reading books. We'd love to hear from our viewers, all our panelists. We've got uh, their bios online. We've got little tidbits about them, Joyce's dog, Mwin Mwin. And so we'd love to hear uh, from you. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have a Facebook page, so just look for us, Bookham TV, B-O-O-K-E-M-T-V. 
uh, on Facebook. We also have a blog, and that's bookemtv.blogspot.com. And we're also on, on Twitter. Um, just one last thing. Does anyone have one last thing you'd like to say to the viewers? Apart from just get my book. <laughs> Anything else that you'd like to say? Uh, my book is way better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, the Alchemist is the book to read, yeah. whether you're a 16 year old or an adult or mm -hmm. a baby boomer just like me. <laughs> or if you just want to try and challenge yourself, you, know, you might want to take this no, one and, and, and go after it. <laughs> That's awesome. I must say, I'm so motivated to go and get all three books, and I'm just going to have to hold on until we get to the end and we find out whose book is Mrs. Sullivan's must read book of the fall. But thank you so much for availing yourselves and coming uh, coming to the show to come and talk to us about these really wonderful books. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, joining us all, we'd like to say thank you to our sponsors, King's Christian Collegiate in Oakville, and Agnes and Song, who's with Royal LePage. Again, to the viewers at home, find us online. That's where we are. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>